Today's vlog, I want to talk to you a little bit more about bucktails. You know, it's probably the number one question I get a lot um, from emails from viewers and some of your comments on my blogs is why exactly bucktails? It's kind of an old school lure. People don't think about fishing bucktails anymore. But I tell you, with all those high tech, you know, high end expensive lures out there, there's nothing like a bucktail for finding fish, for catching fish. It's just a deadly lure. And again, I like bucktails because you can fish them on like here, like this, a little inshore rod, small reel, level wine if you want. You can use a spinning rod if you want. This is a Dan Hernandez model, but it's just an inshore model, really easy to use. And it doesn't matter if you're gonna be using a, a little bit larger bucktail, you wanna go with heavier line. The small bucktails, you can use this. You can even go to a, even a lighter spinning rod or a small bait caster works out fine. And you know, the basic rule of thumb is if the fish are up high and suspended, you're gonna go with the half ounce model. And remember, the lighter the bucktail, the longer it's gonna take your bait to go down along the kelp and drop down to the fish. It's the longer time that your bait will stay in the strike zone will equal to more chances and more fish you're gonna catch. The longer you keep that bait in the strike zone, it improves your chances dramatically. And if you, you know, throw a heavier jig in that stream zike zone, it's gonna drop so fast that you're not gonna get as many strikes. So that's why I like to go with the half ounce. And again, if you're going with the half ounce, fish a light line, 12 pound test line, maybe 15 pound test line, if there's a lot of bigger fish around, but don't be afraid to even go down to 10 pound. It works out good. Now you see me with some of the bigger bucktails, and I tell you, I like to use these for a variety of situations. If I'm sand bass fishing, maybe the water is about 80 feet, 70 feet deep, I'll go ahead and, and use this, a big six ounce. I've caught nice sand bass, even calico bass on these. And I know they look awfully big with these big hooks, but I've caught them on these. Uh, when I had a lot of current and had trouble getting my bait down, I couldn't get down with the one or two ounce, but the six ounce I was able to get there, bounce the bait right off the rocks. And because it is a bucktail, I know exactly where my bait is at all time. I always have constant contact where my, you know, if I have a whole squid on here or a strip of mackerel, I know exactly where my bait, my presentation is all the time. It's not like a sinker sitting on the bottom and the bait getting caught up in the current and sliding away. With the bucktail, you know exactly where it is. You have full control all the time. It's really important. That's why I like bucktails. And I've also used these, you know, for the lean cut. And offshore season when we're tuna fishing, I'll use the six ounce model with this big hook with a chrome head for catching albacore and tuna. As we get bit on the trolling rods, I'll slide back uh, bucktail B52 six ounce on fishing the slide and I catch albacore tuna all the time on them. They work great. All right, well, I'll be back here tomorrow with more information, more blogs. And again, if you don't know where to find our B52 bucktail baits, you can find them on my website at sportcastfishing.com. Go to caballus.com. Lots of local tackle stores carry these now. They're great jigs. All right, see you tomorrow.